Safety, Sleep Alertness and Fatigue Education for Drivers Presented by the American Academy of Sleep Medicine Fatigue or tiredness can have deadly consequences. Don't let this happen to you. According to a recent study by the AAA Foundation for Traffic Safety, an estimated 16.5% of all fatal motor vehicle crashes in the United States from 1999 to 2008 involved a fatigued driver. In 2009, James Council, a former sheriff's deputy, was sentenced to jail time and community service for hitting and killing two bicyclists after falling asleep at the wheel of his cruiser. In 2005, John Robert Schriefer was sentenced to two years in prison for killing a man and injuring seven other people after falling asleep and crashing into a van. As a driver, it is vital that you understand fatigue and the risks of driving while tired. Don't let yourself or someone you care about be affected by one of these devastating accidents. This presentation will describe fatigue, its signs, causes, effects, and some strategies to manage it. First, let's discuss what fatigue or tiredness is. Many people think that fatigue is not real and is a sign of laziness that can be overcome with enough willpower. However, fatigue affects everyone and can be defined as the state of exhaustion or tiredness associated with activity, exertion, working too many hours in a row, staying up too many hours in a row, or a lack of sleep. The risk for fatigue is high when you work many hours per day or per week or your work hours are outside a typical 9 to 5 schedule, for example, being on fixed or rotating shifts. Your schedule is unpredictable and you are awake earlier in the morning or later at night than usual. How do you know if you're fatigued? If you are rubbing your eyelids, keep yawning or blinking, feel like you have heavy eyelids, or find your head dropping or nodding, these are all signs that you are tired. There are many causes of fatigue or tiredness, including not getting enough sleep, going against your body clock, and sleep disorders. Most people think that sleepiness and drowsiness are only due to lack of sleep, but there are other factors that affect your levels of alertness throughout the day. These factors include staying awake. Alertness decreases once you have been awake for 16 hours. Repeated nights of less than 7 to 8 hours of sleep. You may realize that you're fatigued after a night of very little sleep, but sleeping even one hour less per night will add up and result in being less alert after multiple days. Interrupted sleep. Frequent awakenings disturb sleep and reduce the level of alertness during the time you are awake. You may not realize that you are waking up repeatedly during the night. Even with adequate nighttime sleep, there are daily changes in your levels of alertness during the day that can be linked to your body clock. Humans have a body clock that is located in our brain. It helps to regulate the timing of many biological systems, including our sleep and wake cycle, the time at which we get hungry, and when we are likely to feel most alert and most fatigued. For example, it slows your digestive system during the night so you won't be awakened in the middle of the night with hunger. Your body clock helps optimize your bodily functions to suit the time and helps you to perform your best. 
The body clock also affects how easily people fall asleep and stay asleep at certain times of the day. The body clock programs humans to sleep at night and remain active during the day. It is easier to fall asleep and stay asleep during the night than during the day. The hardest time of day to sleep is typically midday. At this time, a person may only be able to stay asleep continuously for two to three hours. During nighttime, it is more likely that a person can get a solid seven to eight hours of sleep. When possible, try to sleep at night. Going to bed at night will help you to stay asleep the longest. When your body clock is out of sync with your environment, you may experience difficulty falling or staying asleep, increased tiredness, trouble thinking clearly, depression and mood swings, or problems with digestion. The best way to keep your body clock synchronized is to try to sleep at night as much as possible. Having a sleep disorder may be another reason for feeling fatigued. What are sleep disorders? Sleep disorders are medical conditions that affect sleep. They are common and many are associated with excessive sleepiness during waking hours due to impaired nighttime sleep. Sleep disorders can negatively affect your social, work, or family life. There are many different types of sleep disorders. Obstructive sleep apnea is one common sleep disorder that is very important to have diagnosed and treated. Untreated OSA can cause an increased risk of motor vehicle accidents. If you have sleep apnea, you may have some or all of these symptoms. Loud snoring, awakening with gasping or choking, feeling tired even though you slept for the whole night, morning headaches, daytime sleepiness and fatigue, trouble remembering things, feeling foggy or irritable, decreased sex drive or sexual difficulties. In order to find out if you have sleep apnea, your doctor will have your sleep and breathing measured. If you are diagnosed with sleep apnea, there are several types of treatment. The most common and effective treatment is using a positive airway pressure, or PAP, mask and machine during sleep. Other treatments include weight loss, an oral appliance, or surgery. It is important to treat sleep apnea because treatment improves fatigue and other symptoms of the disorder while also reducing the risk for chronic diseases like diabetes and high blood pressure. Studies show that CPAP treatment reduces risk of motor vehicle crashes in people with OSA. Insomnia is another common sleep disorder affecting about one in three Americans every year. If you experience difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep for more than a week or two, talk to your doctor. Available treatments include cognitive behavioral therapy and prescription and over-the-counter medications. In addition to sleep apnea and insomnia, there are also a number of other sleep disorders. If you feel the need to move your legs at night or feel an itching or burning inside your legs that prevents you from falling asleep, then you may have restless legs syndrome. If you frequently have a sudden urge to sleep, even though you slept through the night and may have just taken a nap, then you may have narcolepsy. Treatment is available for all sleep disorders. Talk to your doctor if you are experiencing difficulty falling asleep, staying asleep, or staying awake. Now that you know the causes of fatigue, let's discuss the effects of fatigue. Studies show that people are not good at judging their levels of tiredness.
As you become more fatigued, it becomes more difficult to assess the current situation and recognize how your past sleep amounts, length of time awake, and body clock are affecting your current fatigue levels. Sleep loss can impair your performance even if you do not feel sleepy. Keep in mind, your performance may be impaired whenever you get less than 7 hours of sleep per night, are awake for more than 16 hours, wake up frequently while sleeping.